Hello everyone and welcome to my Coronation Street official. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. In the new year, Adam Barlow will be in significant danger on Coronation Street when not one, but two criminals make a huge return to the cobbles, causing havoc for the inhabitants. Coronation Street will screen a huge double return in the new year, as Adam Barlow finds himself in serious danger. Following his divorce from Sarah Platt, the two have maintained a close bond in order to co-parent her son Harry. When Adam drops Harry off with Sarah on New Year's Eve, he notices she's dressed up and assumes she's had a date. To save face, he claims to have a date as well, but they quickly realize that none of them has a date, and Adam offers to buy Sarah a glass of champagne. The tension between them is palpable, and they clearly like each other. The next day, Adam convinces Sarah that he is feeling much better after having a panic attack, and they devise a strategy to assist Adam overcome his fear. He hopes that this is a new beginning for the two of them. When they split up outside the pub, neither is aware that Damon is watching. Adam is being followed to his office by a man in a van. He's imprisoned in the back of the van, but can he survive? Adam is shocked when he sees Damon walk into the restaurant and calls the police, while Nick and Lean are horrified by Damon's entrance because he demands the money that he offered Harvey to invest in the bistro. When the cops arrive to interview Damon about Adam's kidnapping, he runs over to the factory to tell her about Damon's return and kidnapping, but Craig appears and it quickly becomes evident that Sarah was with Damon the previous day. Damon goes to the prison to see his brother Harvey after receiving a weird phone call, but what does Harvey want for him, and will this herald further trouble for the cobble's inhabitants when two baddies return? It kicks off, almost in the first moment of the new year, as it revisits the unfinished business between Adam, Sarah, and Damon, Soaphead Ian McLeod explained. So the new year has arrived. Adam and Sarah are getting along fine and are attempting to co-parent Harry peacefully as agreed upon when they divorced. It was going well until suddenly, bang. Adam finds himself in this nightmare predicament at the hands of Damon, who has unexpectedly returned. The first of Damon's plans is that he wants to get his revenge on Adam, and the second of them is that he wants Sarah back because he feels like she's the one, and he will essentially have to contend with the fact that these two plans might not be compatible, like can he have his revenge and also have Sarah? I teased. The answer could be no, so which one will he select? It's a fantastic, thrilling, high-octane story. Ryan Thomas was seen partying with his Coronation Street co-stars seven years after leaving the ITV serial. The 39-year-old actor, who portrayed Jason Grimshaw and Corey from 2000 to 2016, shared a merry photo on Instagram with Jane Danson, Leanne Battersby, Brooke Vincent, Sophie Webster, and Samuel Longchambon, Maria Connor. Ryan's three-year-old son Roman joined his famous father and friends for the adorable photo, which was taken in front of a gorgeously decorated gold and silver Christmas tree. Ryan wrote, tagging his former co-stars, Manchester's Finest and Roman. And fans went crazy, with the photo receiving hundreds of likes in a matter of hours and others begging for Ryan to return to Corey. The streets calling your name, Ryan, one person wrote. Time to go back, Ryan, we need you, said another. A third person commented, What a lineup, but let's be honest, Roman steals the show lol X. Roman, the star of the show, exclaimed a fourth. A fifth person said, Miniature of you, he's such a cute little boy. While fans may be hoping for a Jason Grimshaw Corey reunion, Ryan recently declared that he will be retiring from acting in March 2021 after losing the bug for it. The TV star made his debut on the serial at the age of 16 and later went on to act in the Australian soap Neighbors. Ryan confessed on his podcast, Manx on the Mick, which he co-hosts with brothers Adam and Scott, that rejection was ultimately the final nail in the coffin for him. It's so difficult for me, he explained. I began performing, then I began playing the game, and I quickly lost interest. I believe that losing the bug is due to rejection and going to auditions and not getting them. The father of two, who has son Roman, three and one-year-old Layla Ray with former The Only Way is Essex star Lucy Mecklenburg, as well as 14-year-old daughter Scarlett from his previous relationship with Corey star Tina O'Brien, Sarah Platt, 
said he also received negative comments from trolls while on Neighbors, which he said shook his confidence. I went over to do Neighbors, and I just saw on social media that there were quite negative comments towards me and my acting, he explained. I'd never had it before because there was no social media. I never got it in Corey because I didn't have social media at the time. If I did, it was at the end, but I was so well established there that people saw me as fixtures and fittings, so I never received any unfavorable feedback. It happens in all aspects, but I found it extremely difficult to deal with at first. Oh, it'll the desire to act come back at some point, I always think, and maybe it will, and it's still something I have in my locker if I want to explore it again. Right now, I'm really pleased with the path I'm on. Ryan has retired from acting for the time being, although he is a regular on reality series, having won Celebrity Big Brother in 2018. He also featured on Celebrity Masterchef in 2022 and will appear on Dancing on Ice when the new series premieres in January 2024. Ellie Leach, 22, of Coronation Street, became the show's youngest ever winner when she raised the glitter ball on Saturday evening. Ellie Leach has spoken out about her remarkable Strictly Come Dancing victory, paying a heartfelt homage to her rumored boyfriend Vito Coppola. At 22 years old, the Coronation Street actress became the BBC Dancing Competition's youngest ever winner when she lifted the glitter ball on Saturday evening. She claimed after being named the 2023 winner that words cannot describe how she felt and that she couldn't believe she had won. She also stated that her experience on the show was so special since she had such a great teacher. Words cannot describe how I am feeling right now, and I cannot believe we have just won Strictly Come Dancing 2023, she went on to say. It's been a life-changing opportunity, and I've had the time of my life every week dancing with Vito. It's been incredible, and being able to do it with such a wonderful teacher has made it an experience I'll never forget. Thank you so much, Vito, and thank you for discovering the dancer in me. We couldn't have won without the support of the voting public. So a great thank you to everyone at home who answered the phone for us. We appreciate each and every one of you. Finally, a huge congrats to all of the finalists and the entire 2023 cast who have been great along this road with me. Meanwhile, Vito exclaimed, This is incredible. Thank you so much to everyone who voted for us, we love you, and it means everything to us. I am so proud of you, Ellie my Lulu. I've seen how hard you've worked, how dedicated and determined you've been, and how much you've evolved as a person over the last three months. We've had a great time dancing together, and I've loved every minute of it. Thank you for being the best dance partner, and thank you to everyone who has supported and voted for us each week. Ellie and Vito applauded when they were proclaimed this year's winners by hosts Tess Daly and Claudia Winkleman, despite an earlier error that had her scared she might lose. Leighton Williams and Nikita Kuzman were defeated. Thanks for watching if you like this video, so please don't forget to subscribe my channel and don't miss any updates.